Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm ZingoDev, and today I'll be showing you guys how to make an e to interact system that lets you open up a door in Roblox Studio. Before we get started, if this video does help you out, please make sure to leave a like and maybe even subscribe to the channel. It helps out a lot. To get started, we're going to go up to the top of our screen and add in a part. Then you're just going to want to scale it up so it's roughly the size of a door. You're going to want to then go over to model and make sure that you have the part anchored so it doesn't interact with physics. Then you're going to want to go over to explore and hover over the part. There's a plus button and you'll want to click it. There's two things that we're actually going to need to add in. First off is the proximity prompt. And this is actually what players are going to see when they get within radius of the part they're interacting with. There's a few settings I'm going to show you guys in this proximity prompt so you can customize the experience. First off is the action text. This is basically what the label is going to say whenever a player gets near. I'm just going to make it say open door. There's then also the hold duration which is just how long a player needs to hold down the key to get something to activate. I'm just going to make it actually 0.5 seconds so that someone has to commit if they want to open up or close a door. Then there's the keyboard key code which is what any computer users are going to be using to interact with the prompt. You can click on this drop down menu to change it to whatever key code you'd like, but I'm just going to keep it to E because that's pretty standard. Then there's the max activation distance which is how close someone needs to be to be able to see the proximity prompt. It's in studs and I'm just going to keep it as 10. That's about all of the settings I'm going to go over, so now let's go back to our part, click the plus button and add in a script. First off I'm going to define our trigger as equal to script.parent and then we're just going to wait for it to load in and it's called proximity prompt. I'm then also just going to define the door as equal to script.parent which is just our part right there. Now we're going to have to detect whenever someone interacts with the prompt and this is actually fairly easy. All we have to do is trigger dot trigger colon connect and then function and now this will run every single time that someone interacts with the prompt. If you want to do something customized to the actual player, for instance, if it kills the player or something like that, there's actually a player parameter right here that you could use to customize their character and so on. I'm not going to use it in this video, but it's right there if you guys want to use it for your own projects. Alright, so now what we're going to do is an if statement. If door dot can collide equals true, so it means that players can't go through the door, we're going to set door.cancollide equal to false, and we're going to set our transparency equal to 0.5 so it's translucent. Otherwise, if that's not the case, we're going to set can collide equal to true, and we're going to make the transparency zero so that no one can look through the door. So we can now exit out of the script and hit play. Once we walk up to the door, you'll see that it has E to open the door, and once we press E and we hold down, the door opens up for us. And if we hold E down again, the door closes and we can't get through. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please make sure to leave a like and maybe even subscribe. If you guys want to do more experimenting with this feature, I'm going to have the wiki links down in the description so you can check out all the documentation. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.